Hello everyone. Welcome to this session. In this session, I am going to explain the working of hydraulic jack with animation. Hydraulic jack is the one of the basic application of the hydraulic system, which works according to the Pascal's law. And I am going to verify in this one uh, during the explanation how the Pascal's law works. And firstly, we will take the, what are the parts of the hydraulic jack system. It consists of a pumping piston that is called as a pump also and a reservoir where the oil is stored at a low pressure and the lines which is connecting to the reservoir and the main piston or a jack piston and here the pumping piston is operated by the handle which is pivoted at a one point. During the downward motion of this piston, the oil will be pressurized in the line and there is a non-return valve in this reservoir line okay, which will not allow the flow in this direction and here the non-return valve opens in, the, in this direction thereby it allows the flow of the fluid to the, the main piston, main cylinder and here the high pressure the fluid will be flowing. During the continuous operation of the pump piston, here the continuously high pressure fluid will be accumulating. And due to the larger area, the more force will be acting on the main piston and thereby which will lift the weight for the required height and the required uh, weight value. And this is the operation which will be taking place and later when the load is to be released, there is a check in the hall check nut is used to release the load and thereby it allows the flow of the fluid to the reservoir once again. And this I am going to take with the animation and there actually how the working is taking place we can see. But it consists of a base and main body where it is called as a reservoir also and where the hydraulic oil is stored. And the hydraulic oil will be flowing to the pumping piston through the check nut during its upward motion. During the downward motion, which will be pressurizes fluid, and here the flowing will not be taking place. There is a non-return valve. In this direction, the fluid will be flow to the main piston or a jack piston. Thereby, larger force with a larger force load will be lifted for the required height. And after that, when it is completed, the check nut valve we can open and allow the flow of the fluid from the main piston or jack piston to the reservoir. Like this, for, by using this manual operated hydraulic jack, we can lift the load for the required height and it will be different for the different capacities. That will be decided the load lifting capacity will be decided based on the area of the jack piston or a main piston what we are going to use and the, the pump piston and how that will be uh, effects on the operation that we are going to see by the Pascal's law. Here we can write according to Pascal's law P1 equal to P2. The Pascal's law, uh, law states that the pressure applied to a confined fluid transmits undiminished in all directions and acts normal to the surface which comes into contact. And according to that, we can write P1 equal to P2. And here, if we apply that Pascal's law at pumping piston, then pressure we can write. The P1 is equal to force per area. Pressure is force per area, F1 by A1, where F1 is a force applied by the lever on the pumping piston. Area is the area of the piston, A1 is the area of the piston. According to that, we can write the force at the piston, pumping piston, F1 equal to P1 into A1. Where the A1 is smaller, the smaller force we are going to apply at the pumping piston. Then if you move to the main piston or a jack piston, where the pressure P2 equal to force F2 by A2. And already we have seen at the main piston or a jack piston, the area is larger. And then the pressure we can write F2 equal to P2 into A2. And as the area is larger one, the force will be more. Therefore, 
the amplification of the force is taking place according to the Pascal's law, thereby the lifting of the load will be taking place. This is the manual operation we have seen and this is also operated by using the any of the hydraulic pump also and thereby heavier loads also we can lift. And like this there are number of different applications of the hydraulic systems are there. That, those I am going to discuss in the further sessions. Thanks for watching. If you like, share, subscribe and comment.